Yeah. God, this hand. <laughs> well, I, I guess you get can pitch the extra ash. Oh, this hand is great. Like, this has full combo. And it also has ash bait as well. With Sorry, the, uh, I, I, I saw two ash and change tactics, and I was like, wow. But no, I forgot that Para trades the extra ash for two broken cards. Yeah, so opponent, I think, makes a huge mistake. Uh... No, 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 that's not this game, that's another game. But yeah, so if he pulls this, yeah, no, they go for the Ash Blossom, they go for the Maxi, they see me discard an Ash Blossom, so they assume I don't have them. So yeah, I actually played this through, this is the game. Yeah. <laughs> so we've got Ash. No, no, it's a different game where there's a misplay, but yeah, I've got the Ash. Um, they, they figured that the Maxi was going to be safe. Um, I do have a backup play uh, in case the Maxi does resolve, which is I just make Babuska in defense mode. Pass the turn, and then from there you can then uh, switch it to attack mode because it can't be targeted or destroyed. Attack over their guy, and then you can get um, Zeus and sweep their fill. So this is the version of the combo you talked about before, where you don't open this, so you go Sage first. And then yeah, the so Gagaga? yeah, and then that. Lets so you actually, make zero. I should have made Prime Math Mech, and then I could have got myself uh, the Astral Utopia. So that was actually I've denied myself enough doing it this way. Uh, yeah, so I've actually, in this case, I've used the Sage, made sure the Sage, so I've got access to it in case my opponent opens Lightning Storm. Uh, I've got Draco Futures down now, so I'm protected for the rest of the turn. It's only got one material, so the difficulty is if my opponent uses an effect here, uh, I don't have a negate in my follow-up turn. Uh, so I could have played this a little bit cleaner, but again, these are the earlier replays while still getting used to, uh, still getting used to the deck. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. I was thinking that when you mentioned the Aftertopia thing. I'm like, yeah, but this is like your third game of the deck. <laughs> so. Yeah, like, it took me a while to, to learn this in and out, because uh, I was I tried watching some videos and stuff like that, but it's always just like a flurry of cards, uh, which is actually kind of what inspired to do the deck feature combo breakdown for the Agnisto stuff. So it was like, I'm going to hold your hand from start to finish and tell you everything you need to know. Yeah, I, uh, when I, I, honestly, when I, I watched these... through those. I really liked them. They were really, really detailed. Yeah, I'm going to do another one for this deck so you guys can then go and this uh, onto ladder. Because I do think this is uh, tier 1 uh, competitive. And yeah, you can get our ray. Uh, we go ahead and attach. Exodia is the best deck for gold. The worst deck for platinum. Don't play Exodia in platinum. Gold is harder is than Commander platinum. Commander X. Okay, that's good to know. Thank you. Yeah, good. So right here, if you want to pause it, I can just explain this field. So... Oh, actually, just play it because I'm going to activate the uh, uh, Dragonair. Uh, get Hope Harbinger. Yeah, number 38. So this field's interaction is uh, the Utopia Ray is in the gate and has the attack of a monster. The Pegasus will negate the effects of a monster that activates on the field, so that's two negates. The Hope Harbinger will uh, negate a spell and attach it, so that's three negates. And then I've got the Draco Futures negate as well, so that's four. And if I'd have played this correctly and got the gone down the Prime Math Mech group, which I will show you in, a, in another replay, I would have also had Numbers Protection and Caught by the Grave. So the amount of interaction that I've got to stop my opponent playing Yu-Gi-Oh! is incredibly yeah, oppressive. Equal to the number of cards in their hand. <laughs> Basically, yeah, my opponent, like, I, I can negate everything. Uh, but, like, this deck is actually really hard to play if you don't know your opponent's combos as well as you need to. So I let the... Um, Tanky resolve so that then for the rest of the thing I don't have to worry about impermanence. Uh, and of course, against the fractal, I can just go ahead and call by the grave that. Uh, Sam, if you want to beat that field, uh, you can watch my Ag Mister deck and show exactly how I broke through it. <laughs> yeah. So, my opponent, uh, their prime play here is to go up to uh, Bobor and then they're going to. Oh, yeah, thank you for any follows. Guys, if you're not following us, please go ahead and. Hit that follow and subscribe button so you can see us when we go live. It really helps us get the content out. So our opponent is trying to go for a direct attack, and then they can go Zeus, and then they think they can just go ahead and nuke my field with four materials. Uh, my one negate isn't going to be enough. But pro this is a really cool thing. Everyone always forgets Hope Harbinger has an attack which redirects an attack to itself, and Dragonair can make the attack of an attacking monster at zero. So our opponent runs head first into my giant dragon, and I'm sitting there with uh, about 12,000 points of attack on the field. Yep. Nobody, yeah, you're right, Orange. Nobody ever reads Hope. <laughs> and yeah, honestly, uh, uh, I have the opposite problem with Hope. 
it, it's true that I don't read it. Um, I, 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 <laughs> I, I don't. There's a lot of cards I just don't read. Oh wow, this is like the easiest thing of your life. Um, yeah. The uh, I always know that he has the attack negate. I always forget that he has the spell. The spell negate. <laughs> How do you forget that? That's like the main reason you play it. I, I don't know. It's like a weird mental block. Like It's it's not an attack in a gate, it's a redirect. And yeah. it also then pumps a guy that... It's, if a face one, it, it's, it's because uh, the spell negate isn't the uh, detaching a material effect. In my head, ah, okay. I, I associate Xyz monster effects with what they detach materials to do. It's like this mental shortcut I have. So... Yeah. Be, like, I've seen him with zero materials and been like, oh, he can't, like, use his effect. Activate spell. <laughs> like, it happens to me all the time. <laughs> oh, this card is just so good, and um, spell negation normally just comes on Imperial Order. So yeah, just uh, go ahead and my opponent uh, can concede there. My field was unbreakable for an opponent's Tri-Brigade tri deck. 